Thanksgiving is tomorrow and we are going to take you through what we're planning for our Thanksgiving meal. It's a little non-traditional. Our big Thanksgiving dinners are actually Saturday and Sunday. We have one family on Saturday and one family on Sunday and those will be your big traditional meals. Um, I'm bringing some desserts, some pies. I'm going to bring a gluten-free brownie. I'm bringing roasted vegetables roasted uh, root vegetables with Brussels sprouts and um, some sourdough dinner rolls. What else am I forgetting? I feel like there's some, oh, a kale salad with poppy seed dressing and cranberries in it. So that's what I'm bringing to um, the weekend celebrations. But since we're having two really big Thanksgiving dinners for Thursday, um, the family the side that we normally go to on Thanksgiving is not getting together this year. And so we are going to be at home. And so we thought it would be fun to have Thanksgiving brunch since we're going to have those two big traditional meals that we were not having three of kind of, you know, the same repeat. So we are doing Thanksgiving brunch um, for our family on Thursday. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. So tomorrow is Thursday. So I'm going to do bunch of the prep today and then just finish up tomorrow morning and I thought it would be fun to show you all of the brunch items that I plan to make and how I do them so you can follow the whole thing. Yes Elsie, you may use that. Okay so my plan for brunch, I'm going to make this three cheese frittata, this is my menu, bacon and sausage, sourdough cinnamon rolls, some roasted potatoes, pumpkin muffins with chocolate chips, oranges and apples, and then I'm going to serve um, coffee and the kids thought it would be fun to have some hot chocolate since it's a holiday. So that's our plan. Uh, I'm not making any eggs on the side with the bacon and sausage because this frittata is all eggs. So that will be our kind of egg meal. I've got one hair out of place here. Okay, so Today I am going to prepare this frittata. Now this is a recipe that was given to me from my friend Nancy. And we're going to put that all together today. It's, um, it's something that I can put into a um, casserole pan and put in the oven and then I'll just bake it in the morning. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to be soaking my um, sourdough starter to soaking my flour for the cinnamon rolls and the pumpkin muffins. I actually plan to soak the pumpkin muffins and make those tonight, like after dinner, make those late so that I have one less thing to make tomorrow. The cinnamon rolls though taste best when they're fresh hot out of the oven so I will soak that flour tonight so that I can make those tomorrow morning. We're planning to eat around 10. My dad is coming over to join us so that's the plan is 10 o'clock. Um, the roasted potatoes. I'm just going to cut all the potatoes so that they're ready to go and then roast those tomorrow. This is a new recipe I've never tried before. It's all done in a crock pot, which I thought is nice because it frees up your oven. And then bacon I will be doing tomorrow. I do it in the oven when I want to do a really large batch. It's just so much easier than standing at the stove and you don't get your whole house filled with the fried grease smell. And then sausage I'll also be putting in the oven. Um, yeah, that's it. So it's simple, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. And so I'm going to show you what I'm doing today, just little bits of it, and then I'll show you how I finish up tomorrow morning. The kids are staying busy with this finger crocheting technique that they invented. Leo made this idea. Invented. Right, I'm I sure somebody it. somewhere has Mom, thought look, of this, but it. isn't this, this fun? Long. Jeremiah is doing some tracing. Yep, it's pretty I fun. I started a long time ago. <laughs> Let me see what you're doing, Jeremiah. He really likes to trace. Can you lay it down so I can see it? Oh, yeah. He just started some... I'm new... making a bat now. That's pretty fun. Elsie is drawing some drawing, which is absolutely gorgeous. This is for her great-grandma who really likes cardinals, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, we are going to start with pumpkin muffins, right, James? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep, go ahead. Get it going. There it is, 
this, James? <laughs> Sounds like Lydia's awake. So my confession is that these are pumpkin muffins, but I'm actually using butternut squash. I use the two interchangeably. Right now I have a lot of butternut squash. You may have seen my one week of dinners using butternut squash video. Um, our neighbor is a farmer and gave us a lot of butternut squash. So my pumpkin muffin recipe is actually a butternut squash recipe this time pumpkin, around. It tastes great. We do have a pumpkin we could cook up, but I have squash already cooked. It just needs to be pureed. So that's what I'm using today. We're going to make a double batch so we have plenty for tonight <laughs> and tomorrow morning because I know once these come out of the oven, you're going to want one, even though it's not Sunday brunch time. So this is my recipe. You can see, whoa. I accidentally zoomed you in. Mom, my knee. Okay, so this hey, is my. Mom. This is yes. My knee. You have hurt. a you, yeah. You have a boo boo on your knee. This is my recipe. It's actually yeah. for blueberry hey, muffins, mama. but instead of blueberries, hey, I just put mama. pumpkin or butternut, Mommy. and it seems to work just fine. Mommy, it's very fine. forgiving. Yes, I see that. How heartbreaking. And okay, so knee. we are going to do. Why don't we make a one and a half batch, James? Yeah. Okay, yeah. we will do four and a half cups of flour. So we're going to use, we'll use um, mm -hmm. three of these and one all and a half of an all-purpose. That way we're getting a mix of the two. Okay. All by myself. All by yourself. Oh boy. Woo, you did good on that, actually. Yeah. You didn't spill a drop. One. Let's mm -hmm. count her. Mom will forget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two. Okay. Nice. Wow. Okay, let's do one more of these. Oh, oh. And then we'll do, uh, sometimes I do all whole wheat. This is a red wheat berry. It's one that I had bought whenever I couldn't get my normal white wheat berry. And so it's very, it's a heavier flour. So I like to mix it with an all purpose. Okay, that was our three. Now we're going to do one and a half of the all purpose flour. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to put in the starter next. So we need one and a half cups of starter. The sugar and the butter and the eggs, those come tomorrow or tonight, actually. I usually do it at night and then soak it till the next morning, but we're doing it at lunchtime so we can soak it until later. Okay, let's put the starter in, okay? Yeah. Okay, hold that still for me. So we need one and a half cups of my starter. Why, Mom? One. That's about one. Okay. Whoa. Yummy, yummy. Yeah. Okay. We'll do a slight bit more since that was a slight bit under. It's not an exact science for me, but it all works out, doesn't it? There's more room. There's more room. Oh, good. Okay, and then we need to add in. What are we making? We're making muffins for tomorrow. Why? Because it's Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving? Yeah. Why? It's the day we say thank you and we eat good food. Good. Good. Come on. We'll Got a pretty little that. fall wreath up there. We'll <laughs> I just hung it right up on my utensil rack and never took it down. Because Mom, what do we do next? I usually hang it here on the door, but my uh, wreath hanger, Mom, what do we do I, could, next? I misplaced it. And so I just hung it up there, and there it still is. Okay, what are we doing next? We're doing um, a half Mom, and a quarter of next? water. So about that. That should be Mom, good. What, we do next? what do we do next? We're going to mix it up, and then we're going to put it in a bowl to let it sit. Yep. We okay. sit. Uh, yep, that's good. James knows what to do. Nice. Hold on. Nice. Let me get my fingers out of the way. Nice. All right, go okay. for it. Yes, go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it a little bit. I add a little more water. I think that that red Whoa. red wheat flour soaks it up a little more. But I'm going to leave it on the thicker side because the squash puree has got some water content that um, the blueberries normally don't have, and so <clears throat> tomorrow that will add more liquid than normal. So. We're going to leave it like this. We're going to put it in a greased bowl ah! and cover it until, I keep saying tomorrow, but it's tonight. I'm going to have to set myself a reminder on my phone so I don't forget. Ah! I'm going to bake these tonight so they're ready for tomorrow. These are some silly faces you're doing back here. 
<laughs> Lydia's laughing at you. Is James funny? <laughs> Lydia spends a lot of time just laughing at James. Evening has come and I am putting together this frittata. Um, it calls for 20 eggs. I had 18 in my container so I just used 18. And then I added in the heavy cream, mustard, salt, pepper, and I'm I don't have any hot sauce because we're just not hot sauce people so I left that out. So we're about to blend that. I've also buttered a casserole dish. Do you want to do the mixing, Elsie? Okay. I'll get you a mixer. And then we're just going to pour it into the pan and sprinkle the cheeses in. No, I take the back. We're going to put the cheeses in. I've never made this before. I ate it. This was um, in my community Bible study. Once a month we would have like a yummy get together <laughs> where we'd bring food. And one of the ladies, Nancy, brought this. And it was so good that she gave me a recipe. So I have never made it for myself. So we'll see how it goes. So you sprinkle the cheeses in and then pour the egg mixture over the cheese and dot with butter pats. And then I'm going to just put plastic wrap on it and put it in the refrigerator. And tomorrow, oops, I got my paper wet. Tomorrow I will bake it for an hour or so until firm. So that's what we're going to do. We need the uh, whisk. I'll see. I think it's in the dishwasher. Samuel grated a bunch of cheese, so just sprinkle that all over. Yep. Oh, this is going to be so good. Elsie's getting the mixing done. Excellent. This is um, done. We just covered it with plastic wrap and put it in the, ref in the uh, refrigerator. Now this has been sitting in the fridge. I'm going to go ahead and get this out. This is what I was telling you guys that I already cooked this in the Instant Pot. I cooked several. And then, um, because I didn't peel them before, I was in a hurry, I'm going to peel it now and puree the inside so that they're ready tomorrow for the pumpkin muffins, the squash muffins. Dinner is over. We had a very snacky dinner um, because I've been cooking and I didn't feel like making food. So they are doing catapults. Jason made them homemade catapults. So they're having a competition and I am going to continue on. Um, I'm going to chop up potatoes and just put those in a Tupperware so that tomorrow I can do the crock pot potato, roasted potatoes. My starter has been um, bubbling. So it's getting to the point where I'm ready to mix my cinnamon roll dough. I'm going to do that next. And what else do I need to do? Let me look at my list here. Frittata's done. Bacon is thawed out. I had that in the freezer, so I had to thaw that. Cinnamon rolls are next. I'm going to chop the potatoes and then I'm going to actually bake the pumpkin muffin. So that has batter, that dough has been soaking. I pureed the squash, right? Not pumpkin. And I'm going to make those next. And then that's it. That's all I'm doing tonight. Cinnamon rolls, potatoes, and muffins. And I'm done for the night. Not so hard this time. <laughs> How did you ever get it in the first round? I don't know, luck. Oh, uh, he had the smaller one. <laughs> so Good close. Job, All right, jeez. Zero, 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 Back up, Jared James. Stay off the table. Jared, how are you? It's not good luck for me. Oh, Jared. Davey, how are you? Sorry, Jared. I'm on the... Hey, how are you? Whoa. Call my two best buddies in the world. Oh, no. Three, four. James. Another three points. Stay out of the way. Back up. Even with all the obstacles. Back up. Amazing. My turn. Kids are finishing up, getting in bed. Elsie has a shower, brushing her teeth, and I am carrying on. I'm uh, mixing the dough for the cinnamon rolls. This is not my recipe. I'm not going to walk you through how to do this whole thing. This is Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone. Sweet friend of mine. It, this is her recipe. And so if you go over to her channel or her website, you'll find it there. Um, I printed off her ebook and I have it in these nice page protectors. So I'm just going to follow this starter, water, flour. That's um, honey, water, and the oil. So yeah, this down to here. 
that's what I'm going to mix together and then I just let it sit until tomorrow morning and I will give you a, a quick look at what I do tomorrow morning once I once I put that together but all I have to do is just mix that and let it sit overnight that's what I'm going to do right now in my mixer this is what my starter looks like it's been sitting four hour the four hour time period is what I find to be just the best time to use my starter because it's nice and bubbly and hasn't def deflated at all so that's where we're at right now I'm going to mix those up and then I'm going to put together the pumpkin muffins kids are all in bed except for Bella is here helping me um, we are putting together the muffins so I wanted to show you this is it says apple but it's not can you unscrew you that need, Bella you need. we've been mixing the ingredients for this recipe instead of the two cups of blueberries I'm just gonna put two cups of puree and that should be fine these muffins are pretty forgiving so this is from the butternut squash that I showed you I just peeled it and scooped out the seeds and then put it in my blender with a little bit of water just to make this nice puree so we're gonna throw that in with all the other ingredients and then bake them in the oven. My favorite thing to bake with is um, these. Kids are all in bed except for Bella is here helping me. Um, we are putting together the muffins. So I wanted to show you. This is, it says apple, but it's not. Can you unscrew you that, need? Bella? What do you need? We've been mixing the ingredients for this recipe. Instead of the two cups of blueberries, I'm just gonna put two cups of puree and that should be fine. These muffins are pretty forgiving. So this is from the butternut squash that I showed you. I just peeled it and scooped out the seeds and then put it in my blender with a little bit of water just to make this nice puree. So we're gonna throw that in with all the other ingredients and then bake them in the oven. My favorite thing to bake with is um, these silicone baking cups it really things come out so easily when you use these it makes such a difference rather than the paper that I find things tend to stick to so that's what we will be doing and I'm also not bound to a um, just you know like a muffin tins I because those stand freely alone I can fill a whole huge half sheet pan tray with those and cook a lot more muffins than I could if I was just waiting on muffin tins because I only have one muffin tin which I probably should just give away because I never use it ever since I have this method so that's what we're doing I got the potatoes chopped up the cinnamon roll dough is ready to go so this is just the last thing I have to do tonight once these are out of the oven I'll just leave them to cool and go to bed I'm done for the night silicone baking cups it really things come out so easily when you use these it makes such a difference rather than the paper that I find things tend to stick to so that's what we will be doing and I'm also not bound to a um, just you know like a muffin tins I because those stand freely alone I can fill a whole huge half sheet pan tray with those and cook a lot more muffins than I could if I was just waiting on muffin tins because I only have one muffin tin which I probably should just give away because I never use it ever since I have this method so that's what we're doing I got the potatoes chopped up the cinnamon roll dough is ready to go so this is just the last thing I have to do tonight once these are out of the oven I'll just leave them to cool and go to bed I'm done for the night all right it is Thanksgiving morning and we are getting started on all of the things that we're doing I actually was up at 5 30 and put the potatoes into the crock pot I'll give you a little peek at those I just mixed um, it was like two or three teaspoons of salt and paprika in with them I took a like a third of a stick of butter, chopped it up, and mixed that in and drizzled olive oil. That's what the recipe called for. Mixed it all together, and I have it on low. Oh, James has a boo-boo. You need help? I'll put a Band-Aid on you. Okay. I am working on our table setting now. Um, I've had some help getting it all pretty. We are going through. I'm showing the kids how I fold napkins into stars. Jason and I 
before we had children, we used to work at a banquet place, very fancy, that we would do fancy weddings, and we would make star napkins. So I'm gonna turn all of these into stars. I'll show you how I do it. And then we have glasses, plates. We decided to just go with the white because my other good dishes are a little bit Christmassy looking and I like to stick with the fall look. And then we labeled what goes in each dish. So you have bacon and sausage and muffins the Oreos and fruit. Oreos go in here. <laughs> That's oranges. And ice cream go in These two here. kind of come in their own pans. And this is in the... Potatoes, roasted potatoes. Because I only have one butter dish and two spots, I just turn that one upside down. That'll be easier for small people anyway. <laughs> So that's our fun table centerpiece. Bella picked some, Bella. Um, what do you call this, spirea. And she actually knotted this rope yesterday. So we wrapped crochet. that around there. The well, crochet. it wasn't really crochet. crochet. Finger crocheting, they call it. But, it but it's kind of a knotted strings. thing. Okay, and then what's our list? I'll see. Let me see our the list. list. So I start, whenever I have things, multiple things to do, I always start backwards and work up. So if we want to eat a 10, then I work backwards to see what time things need to be done. So, after I did that, 7.30, finish mixing the cinnamon rolls. 8.30, roll them out, and then they go into the oven. I didn't write put them in the oven. I need to do that. They bake for 15 minutes. Oh no, I didn't. Now see, I, this is why I need a list. They go in, they have to rest, I forgot. They have to rest. I'll put those in at 9.15, see? I'll need a list or I'll forget what I'm doing, right? Yeah. Frittata in the oven. They said it would take over an hour is what my recipe said. Cinnamon rolls in and out. Bacon and sausage in the oven last. And then we eat. Yay! That's the plan this morning. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's the matter, roly-poly girl? She wants to go up there. She wants to just climb up on the table and get everything. <gasps> Uh-oh. Is James playing a guitar? More like strumming it, not playing it. You can't really say it. He's more playing. Like That's true. All right, let's get ourselves dressed. Yeah. Lydia's got her fancy, fancy pants on. <laughs> you looking at the fire? No, playing like this. I am back to the cinnamon rolls. So this is the filling. You mix softened butter, which. It's so chilly in here this morning that's not very soft, even though it's been sitting out since last night. But it's sugar, cinnamon, and softened butter. So I might just set this bowl on the heater for a little bit while I roll out the um, dough. This is what the dough looks like. So you can see it's sticky. So I really flour. I flour my counter a lot and then sprinkle flour on the top to roll it out which usually absorbs the stickiness just fine. And once it's rolled out, then you spread this on top and roll it up into a log that you can cut and that's how you make your cinnamon rolls. Let's see if I can get this to soften a little bit. Doubling our batch. Our batch would have been eight. But since we did Bella is making the hot chocolate. Leo, uh -oh, what are you doing? Mom. We need more milk. I don't know, I just handed that hand. Mom, <laughs> we need to go out and burn to get more milk. Oh, there's no more in there? Okay, Leo is. Mom, can you send a kid out? You're doing this recipe here, Leo. This is the topping that goes on those. I'm putting people to work here. That looks good. Lydia is. Uh uh. Keeping us busy. Thank you. You're going to grab this and you're going to scoop them onto the tray. Okay? While I hold this. We have to dump. We have to put these in the oven because it didn't finish in here. <laughs> We're going to show you how to fold the star. Silas is going to record for me. Why? Okay. So you're going to fold fold to the middle. Uh-oh, I think this table was a little wet. At least it's clean, right? Fold to the middle and then fold in half. Now you're going to fold in half. And then you're going to fold back a third. And back a third. And the same back here. You fold back a third and back a third. You're just making an accordion. But the reason we'd always do it in thirds is because you want your accordion to be even. Okay, now you're going to find the side that has many folds. The first one you're just going to tuck in to make a little triangle somewhere? corner. Yes. Okay. Okay, and then you're going to just grab these insides and pull them down because you're making triangle points. Because those are the points of, of the star, right? Yep. 
Is this a star? Yeah. You know, I had forgotten that we used to do them the night before or a couple days before so that they would sit in a big pile like and this and it would them press later. them. Yep. Yeah. Plus they were starched. They were starched napkins, so it works better, yeah. Jason, I had to remember how to do this again. It's been and so many star. years. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, you know, I should have done them all last night and let them sit, but I just it just occurred to me that that's what we had done. Okay. It's many years ago. I think Grandpa's here. Okay, so you pull them all down. And then, Pepper. It's just Grandpa. And then, you unfold it. Isn't that beautiful? Nice. Did you reach for Look Grandpa? Look at mommy. Hey. Lydia, what looking you sleepy at? already. Lydia. I don't know. <laughs> Lydia. <laughs> We're still folding napkins. I'm folding yours right now. Cinnamon rolls are out. This is the chocolate, hot chocolate that Bella made. That's this is going to go onto here as soon as this is done. This is warm. The kids will only want it warm. They won't want it really hot. I'm so glad to come here. Otherwise, by Thanksgiving, brunch would have been probably a couple of slices of cold pizza or something. Right. No, it's not bad. Lord Jesus, thank you so much. Thank you for this food. Thank you for our grandpa and our family. We are able to gather together and to come to you and focus our hearts on you. Please help us throughout this day to be thankful for the things that you allow us to enjoy. Our health, uh, our freedoms, um, and great food, family. You are love. In Jesus' name. I'll go put the back of the back of the back of the back of the back the back of 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 No, Jim can't take it. Take it to my I'm taking everybody. So that we don't get Thanksgiving afternoon. We I played did. outside I for a long time. Yeah, then, <laughs> yeah, we're no, reading books right now, aren't we, James? We played games. One. I made it for about an hour of games, and then I got tired. I fell asleep on the couch. I slept for an hour. They are still playing games back there. <laughs> James and I are going to read books. It's been, it's been wonderful. Yes. So we're just going to continue on our wonderful fun. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Thank you for spending the morning with us. And yesterday, too. All the work was worth it. It was a wonderful meal. Right? Yeah, that's silly. So we will see you guys soon. We're going to be Christmas decorating tomorrow, and we will let you join in on the fun. So until then, we love you. Bye. We are very thankful for you. Can you guys say Happy Thanksgiving? We're so thankful for you. Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs>